Welcome back! Now that we have our Ubuntu desktop installed and configured in VirtualBox, what I'd like to do in this video is to show you around how everything works in the operating system. You know, get you to see what the interface looks like and all that. It's just like when you buy a new house and the agent is showing you around where the rooms are, where the toilet is, where the bathroom is. That's exactly what I like to do in this video. So to start the virtual machine, just right click on that and go to start. You have three options and what you're interested in is the normal start. Now, headless start is just going to start it without any user interface and detachable start I'm not really sure about that but it looks like it's gonna be similar to what normal start is gonna do for us because normal start is also going to detach it from this uh, interface so another way you can do that is to go to this start bot button here there's the arrow there and you would say the same thing so I'll just click on normal start and that should bring up uh, interface And by the way, I have a 20.04 Ubuntu installed. I know in the previous video I had downloaded and installed the 18.04, but at the time of recording this, 20.04 uh, had come out, so I just decided to do that. So if you're watching this right now, if the latest version is not 20.04, I recommend you just go ahead and download the latest version. Okay. And um, one of the things that you would do when this comes up like that is to go to devices, insert guest additions. Now in my case, it's gonna show an error message because I've already done it already. So, but what you wanna do is just click on the okay there to install the guest uh, additions. It's basically installing some third party tools to give you a better experience. Now I want to uh, expand this because it's currently detached from VirtualBox so that you can see the screen properly. What I like to do is expand this so you can either enter full screen mode or you press Control Command F on your keyboard if you're on Mac. If you're on Windows, I don't know what the uh, shortcut is but you can just click on the expand maximize button to do that. So that's what I'm going to do which is giving me this functionality to expand okay and you might have gotten the prompt to put in your password when you do that you would see this beautiful interface and you could just skip that we don't need that uh, next next okay this is what I want to show you so we don't need that box right so basically your entire career around uh, DevOps is basically going to revolve around Linux operating system but when you start working in the real world or if you're currently working in the real world you probably won't be working on uh, a GUI based system like this uh, when I say GUI I mean graphical user interface where you get to click and see mouse moving around you're gonna have to deal with the terminal and I'm gonna show you how to get into the terminal so you see this icon right here that says show applications click on that and that will bring up a, a box where you can type things so I'm gonna search for terminal and click on that and basically it's going to bring up this uh, terminal box for you now you see this desktop Ubuntu is just like you know your Windows operating system that's why it's desktop it has a Firefox browser I mean you can click on that go to your browser do things and rubbish bin in Windows we have a recycle bin uh, similar to what we have in Windows and 
Ubuntu software this is where you probably install software if you want and if I wanted to go to google.com I can do that from the browser here as you can see so I'm gonna minimize that probably just close it out okay so now that the browser is out of the way let's talk about the terminal so you might be wondering why exactly do we even need the terminal to do everything we're doing in DevOps well there's quite a number of reasons why it's quite important to know how to navigate the uh, Linux terminal one of which is for connectivity reasons so if you want to connect remotely to another computer you're best doing that through the terminal you can imagine as a systems administrator or a DevOps engineer and you have hundreds or thousands of servers to manage it's very unrealistic that you'll be going into a, 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 a computer using the graphical user interface to connect just like we've done on uh, VirtualBox to literally go in and put your password into a, a, a box to start connecting to each computer but you can easily connect to another computer straight from the terminal so it, it makes administration very easy and also when you hear of hackers hacking into uh, companies servers to steal data and all that you know they literally do that through, through the terminal now we're not saying we're gonna be hacking anyone here but we're doing this for a good cause so don't be scared all right there are a couple of things I'd like to change before we uh, start navigating around uh, if you notice it's showing us a some white block here and it's probably not as clear enough so first of all let me go into the full mode uh, that should be better and the way I did that was just to expand it through the uh, the maximize button on Windows you would see maximize uh, I've just gone into the full screen and the shortcut for that is command F if you're on a Mac OS now uh, let's go into the preferences so that I can remove this block thing and also uh, probably increase the font as well so preferences uh, so cursor shape block I prefer the I beam and also for the font custom fonts if you click on that we can increase the font I'll just take that to probably 17 select and that should make it uh, slightly bigger so we don't have that block thing anymore now the first thing you would notice is I've got my name here there's an at symbol there is the name of the computer remember when we were creating the uh, Ubuntu desktop uh, I specified web server there that's basically the name of the computer we've given it and there's this squeezily uh, icon here it's called tilde and it basically uh, represents the home folder. Uh, I'll explain what you, what that means in a second. And this dollar sign as well uh, basically signifies uh, that this is a regular user, not a super user in the system. And we get into all of that uh, permissions in the next couple of videos. Now, Dare at web server is basically saying Dare is connected to web server. If I were to connect to another server, this would change. And you start seeing that uh, happening very soon when we start going into uh, remote connectivity. Now, let's talk about uh, uh, the home folder, this home folder. So this home folder, uh, if you go here into this icon here that says files, so that is going to show us basically uh, the graphical version of what we're doing on the Linux terminal. Now, you can see home, okay? So home represents where we are. And there's a command called pwd. If I enter, you can see home diary. So basically home for diary is where we are. and this is basically what's going on here so home and this is the home for diary okay you may not see you, you won't be able to see diary but you know this is the home for diary and these are the folders in the uh, home for diary all right so to see all these folders what we need to do is to use a command called ls so if we do ls 
you would see just about the same thing that we're seeing in the graphical user interface on this desktop document download desktop download document the order is not the same but it's basically the the same thing right so let's try to create a file now there's a there's a command to do that called touch so if I type touch and I name it just DevOps as you can see on the graphical user interface now we have the file called DevOps if I open up this file and let's, let's just write something in there I am learning Linux to become a DevOps engineer and if I click on the save button right there and to read the content of this file on the terminal I would use the command called cat cat d e now one thing you need to know is how to do a shortcut so if you click on the tab on your keyboard it will give you options so currently there are two uh, folders with d e okay so if I put the next word V and do a tab again it would complete it for me so rather than typing all the word DevOps it basically helps me to complete it now if I hit on enter you can see what I wrote in here I can also see it straight from the terminal all right so I want us to keep taking notes of the commands we've been learning so far so first we have learned PWD Second, we have learned LS. Third, we have learned touch. Fourth, we have learned cat. And the next one I'd like to show you how to use is the clear command. So if I type in clear, it will basically clear the screen and everything will become plain again. Now, another thing you can do instead of using the command clear is you can just use control L and that basically does the same thing so clear or control L all right so let's save this file and the last command I'd like to show you in this video is the tail command so let's do a tail on our DevOps file. Don't forget DEV tab. And if you hit enter, if you notice what happens here, the first line of text has been removed, and all we have is even PWD did not show, and what we have is LS touch cat and clear. LS touch cat and clear. So basically, what tail does is it just shows us the last part of the file and there's uh, the opposite to that which is the head if I did head as you can see it's taking the data from the top okay so that's basically the difference that's the difference between the two so we would end this video and in the next video I'll show you more commands and gradually taking baby steps we'll get in there. See you in the next video.